I'm here today um, to have more information about water co international water cooperation and see as a youth parliamentarian how I can link between the youth, especially the Haitian youth and the community, the international community, in order to have a, a water access and sanitation. So what are the, some of the issues uh, in Haiti that you would like to discuss here as well? Well, in Haiti we do have enough uh, water, but the problem is regarding to the quality and the quantity because of urbanization, pollution, so in somehow the water is going to become, we're going to have scarcity water. So it's really important to be here and to see how I can bring to my community what other countries does and how also my community can be more involved in the management of how water. Have you heard something interesting here already today? Um, well, I did hear something interesting. What should I say here? But this, let's say I did see something interesting. I see some nice pictures, remind me a lot of the reality of my country. Um, when you saw the kids getting the water, and when you saw also the women um, carrying the water, which is pretty close to the Haitian reality. Okay. Uh, I wish you good luck in here today. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks to all of you. And I say, uh, please, youth, act for water. <laughs> okay. Oh, because that's actually really interesting as well. So yeah. what does the World Youth Parliament for Water do? Um, well, the World Youth Parliament for Water uh, gather 85 parliamentarians from 71 countries, which means we are really a staple really a staple of the world and uh, we work on water sanitation we work especially for the protection of water we, uh, through water sa water access and sanitation water governance and climate change and we have two axes that really um, direct our parliament is a uh, raising awareness and actions. So raising awareness means go to conferences, go to school, talk to, to the youth, have them involved. And uh, um, actions means local projects that involve the youth in their community for the protection of the resource. Okay, so why is water so important, especially, especially for youth? Um, well, if you can say that it's Let's say in the world, um, let's say the example of Haiti. In Haiti, only 3.9% of the population have access to treated water. So youth, as human beings, we need the water. It's not only as youth. So you need the water to uh, take showers. You need water to, uh, to eat, to make the food. And everything that you're using, clothes, uh, shoes, they're made of with water. Water and some uh, chemistry process that give the results. But everything that you're touching is made with water. And we, if uh, it also has a cultural approach. Like in Haiti, in the voodoo um, religion, we even have a goddess of water. So it means a lot for us. And we used to communicate a lot with water because it's a hot, pretty hot country. So we always need a, a water to refresh ourselves. Okay, thank you so much for this interview. <laughs> thank you. Thanks to all of you.